All right, we're asked to find the derivative of this function here. So let's do it, the solution. There's tons of ways to do this. Uh, let's do it this way. Let's first distribute the x to the fifth. So you get f of x equals x to the fifth minus 5x to the fifth over x plus 6. So all we've done at this point is distribute this to both terms here. Uh, you see this piece here? Here we have to use the quotient rule. Now when we do that, we'll just take the derivative of this. That's easy. This is easy. But then we still have to simplify. So it might be easier if we just continue to rewrite this as a single quotient. So the LCD here is x plus 6. So let's write this as x to the fifth over x plus 6, x plus 6, minus 5x to the fifth over x plus 6. So we're almost there. We almost have a single quotient. So this is going to be f of x equals, let's see here, x to the fifth times x is x to the sixth plus x to the fifth times 6 is 6x to the fifth. And then here we just have the minus 5x to the fifth. And all of this is being divided by x plus 6. We're almost in a position where we can differentiate. Let's just subtract the 6 and the 5, and that'll give us 1. So rewriting f of x, we end up with f of x equals x to the 6th plus x to the 5th over x plus 6. So we're finally in a place where we can, re we can use the quotient rule. So let's do it. Before we use the quotient rule, let's think of this as the first piece or the top piece. And this is the second piece or the bottom piece. All right, so taking the derivative using the quotient rule, it's the derivative of the first. So 6x to the fifth plus 5x to the fourth. That's the derivative of the first piece times the second, so x plus 6 minus the first, so x to the sixth plus x to the fifth times the derivative of the second, which is just 1. And all of this is being divided by x plus 6 quantity squared. Let's check this. So the derivative of the first piece is 6x to the fifth plus 5x to the fourth. Yep, looks okay. Times the second piece, looks okay. Minus the first piece times the derivative of the second. Well, the derivative of the second is just 1. So it looks okay. Now we'll distribute. And this is the part where I always mess up. Anyone can mess up here. You just have to be careful. So let's FOIL. So FOIL. So the derivative, or rather distributing, we get 6x to the 6th. That's the first piece. Uh, then the outside will be 36x to the 5th. Then the inside is 5x to the 5th. And then the last is 30x to the 4th. Very easy to mess up here. Then distribute this minus sign. So just distribute it there. So you get minus x to the sixth, minus x to the fifth. And all of this is being divided by x plus 6 squared. We are almost done. There's pretty much one more step, and that's it. So f prime of x. So let's first look at the x to the sixth terms. So we have one here, and looks like we have one over here. So 6 minus 1 is 5. So we get 5x to the 6th. Now let's look at the x to the 5th terms. So 36 plus 5 is 41. Minus 1 is 40. So plus 40x to the 5th. And then we just have the x to the 4th terms. That's just this guy here. Here it is. That's it. So plus 30x to the 4th. And all of this is being divided by x plus 6, and the whole thing is squared. So that is the answer. Now again, this is just one way to do the problem. There's uh, other ways of doing it.